What is going on, everybody? So conflicted here. I'm not endorsed, promoted, or partnered with this project. And it harkens back to a time where a lot of people that I know made out like bandits. They made out, you know, a bunch of people who all they had to do was just sit there and not sell, ended up making life-changing money. And that turned them into experts for one reason, because they didn't sell. And the project went up to a $7 billion market cap. And around November 13 of 2021, there was a big launch uh, for a project that didn't even work. Uh, there was a lot of drama that unfolded after that. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you get it. I'm talking about Saitama in, uh, you know, I want to say May 2021, somewhere around there, Saitama launched originally. And what did Saitama do? It was just a meme coin. It had no intrinsic value. It was abandoned in, in about three weeks and taken over by people who were investors. Those investors then, of course, were subject to whatever ridiculous stuff uh, other investors put on those people. Uh, they couldn't sell, they couldn't make money, et cetera, et cetera. And there was a guy by the name of Russell Armand. Um, if you are, or anybody that you know, um, uh, knows Pablo Escobar, you know the story. It's a tale as old as time. Along the way, many different people fell off. Uh, Steve, um, uh, he disappeared, said he wasn't going to be part of the project. You know, things got a little bit weird. Then they released a project that didn't work, anything like that. Nonetheless, $7 billion later, a lot of people got wrecked. A lot of people made a lot of money, and a lot of people lost a lot of money. Saitama will go down as one of those outliers in DeFi that people just will look at and be like, wow, can't believe that happened. Now, that leads us to today. And what do we have? Five days ago, Saitama launched on Solana. And I've had people reaching out to me, asking me, about what do I think? And I mean, if in 2021, I was giving you Saitama news on hype, so was Rodney, so was Jake, so was uh, your pop, my pop, whoever's fucking pop he is. Uh, then Henock was, was out here doing his thing too. And, you know, everybody looks like a genius uh, because they just didn't sell, right? They just, they just held. And Started a, a, a DGEN community, a DGEN community, which still persists today. So what is this one? That's the question. So here's the chart for Saitama, the One Punch Man. Now, remember, this other Saitama was the Wolf Pack. It was not One Punch Man or it converted over. I am told that they are going to attempt to recreate date by date by date the exact same circumstances and occurrences that happened leading up to November the 13th of 2021 when there was an event in Las Vegas. And I assume there won't be a side of mass. But right now, 551,000 market cap, 48,000 in liquidity. Uh, checking it from the, uh, from the top, you can see kind of wicked out right up here at around four cents, meaning that it's about six X away from the all-time high. So it ran up to a three or $4 million market cap and then started to dump from there. It's currently 803 holders, uh, which actually matches up. If you come to uh, the Twitter account, uh, it tells you about 844. So a little under the radar as it were right now, but guess what? There were 300,000 people at one point that had invested or were holding Saitama in some way. I have to think that this thing will probably have a nice run. Uh, I, I would think that if you were to take a standard uh, Fibonacci retracement and look at it from this, it looks pretty cooked. It also looks like it could make another big rebound and uh, go up to about 2.7 cents. So I'm not saying that this thing doesn't have a little bit of uh, life left in it, by the way, if we just kind of Grant here that that's the, the next probable big pump area. It's about a 4X away from where it is right now. So I would venture to say that there's some upside. And if this is, in fact, a, a, a decent project by virtue of liquidity is locked. And that, I'm going to leave this up to you. This is not my realm. I'm not partnered with these guys. 
I'm not funded by these guys. I'm just doing this because there's a lot of people asking me about it. Again, it's my understanding that the person that launched it or the person that's been talking about it since the beginning was Faltron. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I, you know, um, I, as a matter of fact, I have Faltron's phone number. He and I have talked on the phone multiple times. You know, we're, we're not unfriendly or anything like that. But if you come down here, you'll see that he's been talking about it quite a bit and it, it is getting reshared constantly. And he's now running, um, uh, he's running and giving away a lot of tokens. So it is entirely possible that this was something that he launched. Now, if you remember, uh, Faltron was one of the people early on in Saitama who was, you know, part of this and not that, not this project, but the original Saitama. So I, I would have a little bit of a concern about th this project uh, because if you guys remember famously some of the uh, backstabbing and, and stuff like that, that went on, uh, they were paying for that and they, they were paying people who are associated with this token right now. So there's reason for you if you're concerned or if you're you're looking for the bat. There's reason to consider that there might not be, you know, there might be some issues with this. But here's the thing, you know, what, before I say, before I wrap this up, let me let me point out. If you want to go to the Telegram, you want to check it out. Uh, there's a, a link tree over here. You can check it out. Uh, I'm not posting the links down here. It's not my business. Uh, if you want to go check out, uh, it's called uh, at Saitama underscore Soul uh, underscore. And if you want to look at the website, it's over here. Um, the contract address ends in one UA five. If you're looking for it, the website doesn't have a white paper, doesn't have anything to it. This is a strict DGen play. Now, what do I think? There's a lot to be nervous about. There's a lot to be concerned about. I would suggest that you token sniff it, make sure that the liquidity is locked. I would uh, venture to say that it would be very, very wise of you to look at all the holders, find out as much as you can about who's holding on to. Uh, uh, who, who's holding on to the biggest amount of the supply. If you uh, go check it out, you'll see that Radium Authority is the biggest holder, which is what Radium is supposed to do. Uh, and, and then as you, you kind of go down the list here, there's a bunch of people here with either three or four uh, percent of the, the, the holding wallets. There's 81 pages, meaning there's about 800 holders. So uh, you're going to have to do uh, make a decision for yourself about whether this is a worthy investment for you. There's a supply of 71 million tokens. Um, I, you know, I don't have, uh, I don't have anything good or bad or indifferent to say about this. What I think is really what I think is ir irrelevant. What, what I think it's not going to do very much. But when I say that, I, I don't want to dump on the project because, in fact, I think it's going to run up, and I could see this thing running to. I, and look, by the way, there's no seven billion dollars. There's, there's no seven billion. Uh, the 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 shine has worn off on the whole Saitama thing. However, <laughs> however, uh, if you were to put one soul into this project right now, it is my belief that it's going to be worth five to ten soul easily. If you were just taking a shot at it, just to say, hey, you know what, YOLO, you never know what will happen. You're going to have support from people like Rodney, who will probably be talking about it because he, he won't be able to stop himself. Um, Jake, because it's going to bring back the time that he got rich. Uh, Faltron, same. Uh, plus, you know, Faltron's big into drama. So uh, th this, I mean, this is the biggest, this was big, the biggest drama token in all of crypto for a long period of time. So even though I would not say, hey, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, if the team were to approach me and say, hey, we'll give you a bag if you keep talking about the project, probably keep talking about the project. However, I would also be selling at a couple million market cap to make sure that I got whatever it cost my for my time back. And then I'd just be holding on to a moon bag, if that makes sense. Because I, I'm, I, I think that just some random degen stuff might happen here. And, you know, what was old will become new again. And I think, you know, no matter what you think of Faltron personally, I mean, he's a... a if this is in fact a project that he's deeply involved in, I got to think that it's going to be successful. If this is a project that Jake's involved in, I got to think it's going to have a pump. It, and not just the pump that you saw previously. Uh, and, and if Rodney's involved, it's dead. I'm just kidding. Uh, then it's going to pump. I mean, you, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I could see somebody like Hennock 
uh, getting involved, your pop, uh, all of these guys who made their name based on uh, based on the old Saitama. You know, I could really see something like that happen. You know, so uh, I, I don't want you to I, I don't want you to dismiss this. And you know, in fact, in the event that this does what the chart looks like it's going to do, then it in fact could end up 10xing very, very quickly and just get into a five or $10 million market cap. Because remember, uh, people are going to find it. People are going to look at it. So this could be for you some easy money. So I don't know if it's for me. Um, so you let me know what you think I should do in the comment section down below. Do you think that I should throw a soul in and, you know, just let it ride, see what happens? Do you think that, uh, do you think this is just a little too crazy for you? Do you think that uh, this this has a shot. Like I, you know, I think to the people that are involved. Uh, and by the way, when I say that, I don't know that Faltron's involved. I don't know that Jake or Rodney or any of these guys are involved with the developers. So what I'm saying is, there's a group of influencers out here who are probably. And look, I mean, you probably track these bags. You probably find out that that some of these bigger bags are probably those guys, right? Um, so it may be that this thing has a big shot and that they're going to do it all over again. So I would encourage you to do your due diligence. I would encourage you to check this out. I would encourage you to decide what your risk tolerance is and then make a decision on whether or not the new Saitama on Seoul is for you. So um, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. I'm going to tell you there's no white paper. The website is abhorrent. Um, Telegram, I'm not in the Telegram. Um, the, um, the, 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 the Twitter account, uh, I mean, it's a Twitter account, you know, uh, there's nothing special about it. Um, but it's active, it's active. So I think that's, what's going to matter the most. And some of the people that I know that, that watch me are asking me about it. So you guys decide what you want to do. And then, um, if you're right, I get to be right. Then you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, otherwise, you know, here we go again. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.